The main reason this project went from a pretty straightforward stake anvil stand to some kind of a universal work holder is when I realized that these tapers were not built to any kind of a standard. They ranged anywhere from 11 to 14 degrees. So I realized that if I built a stand that had welded sockets for one taper, I wasn't going to be able to use them for any other tools. So I started thinking about a way of having portable sockets of different sizes and tapers that I could clamp onto a base. And then that led me to the idea of, well, if I could have sockets, I could also have different tools like grinders and bending jigs and that sort of a thing. So that's how the basic idea developed. At that point I decided to have another look at a bracket that I made years ago that was mounted to the side of one of my anvil bases. It was really simple to build. It was basically just a couple of half inch square bars that were wrapped around a half by two inch piece of flat bar. This bracket was used to hold an adjustable work holder that was built off of this section of the flange here. It was a really nice simple design. Anytime I needed the stand in place I just slid it into the bracket and then when I didn't need it anymore it was just a matter of pulling it back out and setting it to the side. Then I decided to reverse how these two pieces were used. The simple flange would be part of the base that was stationary and the bracket would be mounted to the removable part of the system. This does mean that I have to build one of these brackets for each tool that I want to set up, but I felt it was better to keep the more complicated part out of the weather so that I can keep the tolerances tight. When I'm working on a variation of an idea, I'll use the last drawing that I did as a base and I'll trace over the parts that aren't changing. That way I can draw very quickly and have drawings that look fairly consistent when I'm done. To simplify the construction of the bracket, I decided to remove the top arm of the bracket and replace it with a heavier top plate that I could weld up from short pieces of bar. I'm just going to leave a space in the top plate so that it can lock over the center flange of the beam. As much as I like the simplicity of this design, the amount of slack that you need to build into the system so that the bracket will slide into place easily can result in quite a bit of movement at the other end of the tool. Now this wasn't a problem when I was simply using it as a work holder, but it can be if I'm trying to set up something to do some precision work. My first thought was to lock the bracket in place by clamping it with a bolt threaded through the back plate or welding on a nut, you know, that would do the same thing. And then I thought I could simplify that even further by just drilling holes that lined up through the beam as well as the bracket and then just bolting the thing in place. Here I've just extended those holes into notches so I can just slide the nut and bolt in place. That way I just need to loosen it, slide the bolt off and slide it back on when I need to set it up. But this creates a problem for some things because the nut and bolt is going to want to slide off the tapered edge of the flange on a tool that creates a lot of vibration like a grinder. <laughs> 